Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Joseph Cipriano, and today we have our patient here. Um, she is a hairdresser, um, so she is on her feet for hours, as you told me, correct? Yeah, like sometimes eight hours or more. Dang. Yeah. Okay, so she's literally hands up in the air, she's doing a lot of color, cuts. Just... Right, highlighting, everything, like especially when I'm doing highlights, I could be literally standing at that person's head for four or five hours, like not even walking right from their head because the products that they have in their hair, you know, have to, have to acquire so much attention to that. Gotcha. So, um, so what kind of issues have you been having? Um, mainly my upper back, just because I'm always right. up foiling. Let's see, where, where at your upper back? Um, basically my like shoulder blade area, a lot in my neck area. Okay. Um, so we've got neck, we've got, I know you said more right, that she's more right-handed, she's feeling a little bit more issues on that right side. Um, I blow dry with my right arm, there so you go. it's like this motion all day long. <laughs> gotcha, that, yeah, that could do it to you. And then you were telling me that your neck is locked up before, it hasn't happened right. in a while, but. Yeah, it's probably, I haven't had a major problem with it in maybe a year, but I do know I have the reverse curve in my neck. Okay. Um, and sometimes it locks up super bad to the point where I literally cannot even look left, right, up, or down. Okay. Um, and usually, you know, I'm like on bed rest when it locks up like that, like I can't do anything. Sometimes my arms can't even move good because it's just so tight in my neck. Okay. All right, first, let me have you take a seat right here. Um, I just want to put you through a range of emotion just so we see a baseline, kind of where you're at with things. Um, I'm going to have you look all the way up to the ceiling. We're going to put you through a range of motion. Any pain, any issues with that, tightness, tenderness, anything? Mm -hmm. Okay, look all the way down to the ground. Any pain, tightness, tenderness with that? Maybe like a little bit of tightness. Where at? Um, like right in the middle. Like I can, when I look down, I can just feel a little bit of... That way. Okay. If you're to look over either shoulder, you pain with that. No. Sometimes I can like look further one way than the other a lot of times too. Okay. But it seems okay to look right now. Maybe you this side I can go further yeah, than I can, can on little, this side. Correct, yeah, I notice that too right now. And then if you were to bring one ear to one side and one ear to the other, a any pain? A little bit a little bit of like tightness and like sh it kinda strains a little bit going that way. Okay. Not as bad that way though. Okay, so you're rotating a little bit better to the left, mm -hmm. but when you bring that left ear to that shoulder, to this side, you're getting a little bit of pain, correct? Yeah. Okay. Like I can almost feel it like trying to like pop a little bit or something. Like grinding, and pop, yeah. and kind of. Okay, yeah. Like I can hear it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's definitely, I mean, it's not normal, but it is common. Um, especially in a field and a position that you do, you know, with. Uh, always on your feet, always standing up, hands usually up, usually you have somebody you know, on a chair, then you're kind of going down, so you're right. always like flexed forward. Right. Um, and then obviously you're usually, you know, like to your tens, you're probably wearing heels, which is awful for you <laughs> while you're in the salon all day. Um, so yeah, definitely some things that we're gonna go over. Um, just when I'm feeling in on the traps right here, I'm noticing definitely very tight on It feels a side. little bit like, tender in those areas. When I'm pushing in yeah. right now? Okay. Yeah, definitely very taut, very tight with that. Um, any issues when I push in like this? Um, maybe like a little bit tender up towards the middle then, or top. Towards the middle or top? Like right in there. Okay, yeah. so this is basically like as she was telling me before, right between the shoulder blades on either side. Um, now I know you're telling me you're having a little bit more issue on that right side than the left. Yeah. Yeah, just it, honestly, all right in through here. Even your trap follows going all the way down, comes all the way around, and goes all the way up like this. So a lot of that is actually pulling and straining from that. Um, so what I want to do, I want to start off, I want to do a soft tissue technique. Um, we have the, um, the hypervolt, and what we're going to be doing, we want to relax those muscles and tissues first. So what that's going to do is that will help make the adjustment a little bit easier on myself um, so we can get that just relaxed and it's not going to fight me as much. So what I'm going to have you do, I'm going to have you lay face down right now. Okay. So 
as things that we're feeling already, so we're feeling a lot of tight and tenderness, following the traps on either side, and then obviously going down the spine in general to that uh, upper, going into that middle back. So we're gonna be using the Hypervolt today. And this is a very powerful handheld uh, massage device. So what we're wanting to do, we wanna just relax those taut and tender fibers, um, so then it can make it for an easier adjustment for myself, and so then she can also hold that adjustment longer. So we are gonna start with this. Now how does that feel when this is on? It feels good. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a lot of vibration to the yeah. body, but yeah, no, it works really well. So I wanna go through, I like to go through at first, kind of lightly. I don't really push in much at all. I let the machine do a lot of its work. And then we're gonna do both sides. And we come in, we're following that trap muscle here. And then we're gonna just turn it up a little bit, get a little bit more power involved here. Just because her traps are really tight, so we're gonna really try to clear this out and get this a lot easier for, for me to adjust her. So now what I want to do and how I start every adjustment, um, I want to go through and you know, I'm going to scan the entire body. So I do know that you know, she did have some, some tight traps. So even when going through, actually the left side feels a little bit looser than the right, but it actually both has loosened up quite a bit. Uh, yeah, I feel a little bit of, a little bit of tightness right here in the neck. Do you notice that when I push in yeah, here? Yeah, I definitely feel the difference between the okay. left side. Yeah, so a little bit of tightness on that left side. And so we're gonna come from that cervical spine, and we're gonna go into the thoracic spine here. So as we're going down, yeah, just a lot of uh, fibers that you can tell are a little bit, um, kinda as they were taught, you feel them loosening up now, which is a good thing, but um, just different alignment issues that we're looking at. So a uh, little bit of a hyperkyphosis in that thoracic spine here. So as you can tell, just like this, if you look at my hand, we're getting a little bit of too much of kyphosis, so we're gonna really work on that thoracic spine for her today. And then we're gonna drop down into the lumbar spine. So we're gonna come down through here. Any pain over the right SI joint? Um, no. Okay, good. Any pain over that left SI joint? Any pain directly over the sacrum? Oh. Good. Okay. So no issues down in the low back, which is a good thing. Everything is really showing in the, uh, in the cervical spine and then going into that thoracic spine. So I like to always come down here and we like to check out the leg length as well. So when I push in, as you can tell, that right foot does pull short when looking at the leg length here. Uh, another thing, so when I scan up the body, so as we're looking up, Right side here is a little raised, and then also it's a little raised on the right side in here. So this is a lot of her chief complaint. So when we scan that body, you know, we're looking at the curves in the low back, we're looking at the kyphosis in here, and then also, so what she actually is having as well, she has a reverse curve in her cervical spine. So what that means is, you're in your lower back, uh, hold on, easier to pull the actual spine here. So in the lower back, she has a nice lordosis in that lumbar spine. Then comes the kyphosis in the thoracic spine. Now in her neck, a normal neck is supposed to go back like this and have a nice lordosis. What's happening is she's getting a reverse curve in her neck and now it's pulling forward like this. So instead of having a nice lordosis in the neck, She's kind of coming forward, and what that's doing is picture, best way I like to tell patients is, picture a banana has a nice curve. If you're to bend that banana and curve it forward like this, what's going on with the actual inside of that banana? So what's happening is, you know, you're starting to mush it by bending it forward. Your spine is doing the same thing to that actual spinal cord. You know, it's starting to cause pressure 
with that alignment issue. So when that spine is in a proper alignment, what this is gonna do is, this is gonna create a lot less problems for her, uh, a lot less pain. So I know the hard thing with her is because of her field and what she does for a living, um, she's really gonna have to focus on her posture, maybe take a little bit of breaks throughout the day, and obviously she's gonna need to come and see me a little bit more frequently than she would like, but just because of that position and that posture, um, definitely something she's gonna need to to be doing as well. So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we are gonna start right up here in that cervical thoracic spine here. Okay, we're gonna come right in through here and we got that tightness more at that T1 here on the left. So we're gonna start the adjustment off just like this. There we go, got a lot of good movement there. And it felt a little bit lower, about T3 on the right for her, right through here. There was just a little one there. So yeah, a little bit more locked up on the one side. But yeah, starting to get that opened up very nicely. So let's go through that upper thoracic portion. Okay. So what I'm going to have you do, I want you to take a deep breath in and exhale all the way out for me. Good. We're going to go a little bit lower, take a deep breath in, and exhale all the way out. Good. That moved very well. Good. Okay. So now what I want to do, I want to come back down to here. I want to check her leg length out again. So just with that, so we did that thoracic T1. You can tell it's a tiny bit short, but I mean, from where she was originally, that has already changed um, actually quite drastically. So just those adjustments, you know, in the T1, T3, and then going through that upper and that mid back had already changed that much. Um, so what I want to do, considering that this is your main focus problematic area, um, I am going to have you stand up for me. And I'm going to come around from here. So I want you to face it that way. Good. And I want to do a standing thoracic because I want to make sure and clear out this entire thoracic spine here, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to come up just like same thing this again. Way. Yep, put your hands up and over mine. Just like that, good. So I'm going to lean you back under me. I got gotcha. you. Now squeeze your elbows together for me. Like this? Yep, squeeze them together, squeeze them together. Good. You feel that little bit? Yeah. Release there? Good. Yeah, because. That all right through there is that main complaint for you. So we got to do a lot of movement and make sure make sure we get this completely cleared out for you. Right. Um, so I'm gonna do one more. So what I first did, I did what was called the prone thoracic adjustment. Prone just means when she's lying face down. Now we just did a standing thoracic, and now I'm gonna have you take a seat right here for me. Facing side. Yep, facing that way. And now I want to do a, what's called a supine thoracic adjustment. So what we're gonna do, and I just wanna make sure everything is cleared out is the main thing here. So I'm gonna have you give yourself a big hug. And with this, I want you to take a deep breath in. I'm gonna bring you down and exhale all the way out for me. Good, okay. So I'm gonna have you relax and lay right there. Good. So everything was already cleared out in that thoracic spine. Um, actually, you know what, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have you sit up. I just wanna make sure that we get that cervical spine and then we're gonna do the Y strap and realign everything and get everything straightened up really well. So I know at first we we're feeling that left side, you know, here it is, that left sided mm -hmm. cervical issue here. So let's go ahead, we're gonna first Get this to go from this side right through here. There it was. Good. And you felt that one right yeah. up here. Yep. So now let's get this lower one right in through here on that left side. Good. There it was. <laughs> <laughs> <But good. laughs> I could definitely feel the difference with that one. Yeah, so what we did, we just wanted to make sure and get that cervical spine completely aligned before we do that manual decompression. Um, 
So yeah, right in the beginning I felt that little bit of misalignment right through there. So we wanted to clear that out, get things straightened up. So now what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be using the Y strap. And so what this maneuver is, it is a, like I just said, a manual decompression technique. Um, the strap's gonna wrap around the base of the occiput. I'm gonna stand at the top of the table and I distract in that Y axis. Now, you may feel this adjustment all the way from the occiput, going all the way down to that lumbar spine, okay? So we're gonna bring this up and over. If you can pull your hair through for me. Perfect. I'm gonna have you lean back, keep your legs bent off the table like that, good. Just like this. Okay. And this is where, one, I check, make sure you're not wearing any earrings. <laughs> and we're gonna do the stretch. Oh, that felt so good. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And just relax for a moment. Okay, so if you were to describe that feeling, how would you, how um, would you, how would you tell people? Because I know this was your first time ever getting that. I definitely strap. feel like it's kind of like the icing on the top. Like you just did everything and then that's like just the like last little bit. But no, like I definitely sure. felt it the most like in the areas that hurt me the most for sure. Okay, so those main problematic areas is where she was actually getting the most relief from with that. Right. Um, so for her, it was- I actually like, felt it a lot on this side. Did you? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's a good thing. What that means mm -hmm. is because her spine was out of alignment and wasn't um, having the proper alignment and that she's been having that reverse curve, what that's doing, that's pulling every vertebra apart and that's straightening that entire spine up. So with the first time I do it, um, sometimes it may not go all the way down just because I'm trying to, one, get a feel for your body, mm -hmm. um, and we do things a little bit lighter once, as after today being the first day, once I start to adjust you a couple more times, we'll be able to get a little bit, um, kind of more strength in the pull, right. which means we'll be able to get that to go down a little bit further, which would be a good yeah. thing for you. But in this case, your main thing was that neck and it was that, you know, upper back and middle back. So that was a problematic mm -hmm. set, problematic areas that we weren't able to hit today. So I'm gonna have you come back on up. Um, turn and face the front. Um, so one thing that I want you to go through, if you're to just look up, look down, rotate side to side, how does it feel now compared to that first time when you did everything? It feels a lot looser. A lot like, looser? I feel like it's just a nice <laughs> glide forward and glide back. Now, you remember when you, I, when you went to the sides, when you went to that side, and you felt like your neck could like crack or right. pop? Yeah, I don't hear that now. You don't have that grinding yeah. kind of? And I definitely feel like I can go further on this side now. Mm -hmm. So Yeah. So even just with, you know, that first time adjustment um, and getting things cleared out, she's getting a better range of motion. Um, you know, we're, we're getting rid of one of her main problematic areas on why, you know, she did contact me with, you know, pain in that upper back. So at least we're getting rid of issues like that. Um, how are you feeling overall? Good. Looser. Looser. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect, so yes, if anyone is ever looking to schedule an appointment, um, I have my email address on there. You can contact me um, also at my website, www.drjosephcipriano.com. Um, and we'll also have all of your links and contact information also in the description. And you'll see it obviously pop up along the screens here too. So I know with you know the number one Cairo in Greenville, <laughs> we have the Number the LeBron one. of chiropractors. The LeBron <laughs> of chiropractors. <laughs> um, we have the LeBron of hair stylist <laughs> over here, so definitely um, check her out, and you know we'll link everything as well on her page. So I'm Dr. Joseph Cipriano. Have a good one, everybody.